Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a wishlist video, kinda, thing. I have done some of these videos before, then I did 10 things I want to buy, I think. Something like that. Um, I have saved some things on my phone that I really want to buy. It's some no new things and some old things. I am just going to find those things. And I am going to put up some picture here, talk a little bit about them, and yeah, just show you what I want to buy. So I thought that we can start with a skincare thing that I really want. I usually don't talk that much about skincare anymore on my video. I don't know if I'm going to start doing that. I really like skincare, but I don't know. So, the thing I want is a thing from Milk Makeup. This is one of their serum. This is their melatonin, melatonin serum. It's the purple one. And this is one of these night serums, like a recovery serum that's going to hydrate and a lot of nice things. I have wanted this since uh, they announced it. It has come, it has taken so long before it has come to Sweden. It is finally at Sephora now. I haven't bought it yet, but I think I will do it soon. I really like Milk's serums. I have had their brightening watermelon serum. Really like it. I like the stick from what I think it's easy, it's go fast, it's... I really like it. So. I will buy this, I don't know when, but I will buy it because I really really want it and finally it's, it is in Sweden and I don't know what to do with my hair. And I wonder, because it's mostly eyeshadow palettes, so maybe I should save those to last and take the things that is not eyeshadow palettes. So we can take a thing that I really want from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's their new lip stains. I have one liquid lipstick from Anastasia. I also have some bullet lipsticks. I really like their lips, lip products and I think I really like stains. The thing I like with stains is they are there. They disappear but they don't disappear. It's always like a stain left. Hence <laughs> the stain. And I really want these. I don't know which color I want. I want to swatch these before, I think, because I think with stain it's a little depending on what your lip color is. I can't swatch them on my lips in store, but I can at least swatch them on my arm and try to guess how they will look on my lips. I think I want a pretty dark one. I have not decided, but... I so looking forward to these to come to store in Sweden. I really hope that they come to my store where I can buy Anastasia Beverly Hills. I guess it won't. Maybe I will order it then. I don't know. But I really, really want these. Then I have a brand that I want to try that I haven't tried yet. So many of my friends, so many of the people I follow has tried things from this brand and I also really really want to do it. I just haven't done it yet. And there is actually a Swedish brand and it's Odin's Eye. They are soon coming when I'm recording this. Maybe it has already been announced. A new eyeshadow palette and it looks like a rainbow palette. And I'm going to say something that I thought that I would never say. I don't think I need any more rainbow palettes. I have another palette that I really want. I think it's called the Solmåne palette. It's this one. This feels like something I don't have. Of course. I have it. And I said that I was going to talk about eyeshadow palettes last, but I want more than just an eyeshadow palette from Odin's Eye. So we take all the things from Odin's Eye and then we go into the eyeshadow palettes. So this feels like something I don't have and I right now feel a little bit fed up with my makeup collection again. I am thinking about doing a get rid with me or something about that. We will see. Maybe it goes away, I don't know, but as for right now, I don't think I will buy any of these eyeshadow palettes. 
maybe I do, I don't know. But this one, it looks like something I don't have, and I think it looks pretty interesting. And what I have heard <laughs> from about Odin Sides, all the eyeshadow palettes are like the same. They are good, all of them. So I think I will buy this. Maybe the rainbow palette looks amazing and I will buy that. I don't know. But I also want to buy their highlighter palette that is also called Solmone. I, I, I don't really know. But I have heard so many good things. <sighs> so many good things about it and it looks really nice. And I don't need it, but I really want to try Odin's Eye. And it feels like I want to try more than just an eyeshadow palette and try some other stuff. Because I also want to try one of their lipsticks. The liquid lipstick in red apple. <laughs> it feels sometimes like I want to try red from all the brands that I want to try lipstick from. But this red looks amazing. And I also heard that these are good. The one, the liquid lipsticks from Odin's Eye. So I am thinking to buy this one as well, if I'm going to order from Odin's Eye. One thing I don't like with Odin's Eye, it is a Swedish brand, but it's shipped from, I think, China. So I have to pay customs for it, even though it is a Swedish brand. It annoys me a little bit, but it is what it is. But I think if or when I'm going to buy from OSI, I'm going to buy at least one eyeshadow palette, the highlight palette, and at least one lipstick, and the red one, I think. Okay, and now I only have eyeshadow palettes left. We can start with UVS Place. It is actually four palettes I want from UVS Place, but I count on them as two. We can start with the old one from UVS Place, and it's the Nubian 2. I have been wanting this for years, at least like one and a half year I think and I I don't know why, it's just something about this palette. Every time I see it on Beauty Bay I'm like I'm going to order it and then I was like no I don't need it. So I order something else, the things that I plan to order and then I'm like I should have ordered it. And then I see somebody do like a ranking of my UVS Place palettes and show this palette or a palette collection video. And I'm like, why don't I buy it? I have been thinking of this palette for so long. It's just something about the color story that I really, really like. And especially when I see other palette, other palettes, other people use it or like just show the palette. I'm like, I want it. So I think before this year end, I think I will buy it. Pretty sure. And then I also would like the three, th the three, the, th the three new mini palettes. I don't need them. I have the four that come first. I don't need all the four of them. The nudes. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but uh, these three new ones. I want all of them. I. I don't call myself a collector, but <laughs> with some things, I think I am. This, the pink, at least, looks amazing, and I think they are good, the ones I have tried, and I think they are nice. I, I do not need these. I don't need anything on this list, but I really want these to like complete my collection. I know it's stupid, you don't have to tell me. Okay, and then we have something that I like this palette, but it's one thing I don't understand with it. And it's the new from Colored Rain. I think it's UC Boost. Yeah. They releasing this as a palette and also like this book thing that you can flip. It has two sides. I don't get that. I don't get how you can release a palette in two different forms. It doesn't add up to me. I would have, like, if you did the full big palette and then maybe did smaller. 
but this is the same palette in two different formats people seem really like wow i am like no <laughs> maybe because i i don't think if i ever going to buy like a book palette i hope you mean what what i hope you understand what i mean when i said book palette i don't think i'll use it because it feels i, I don't know and i don't get why you should release the same palette in two different forms i don't get it I don't but I really like the palette and I have the vivid pigments and the queen of hearts from color drain they are really good and this looks really fun especially like the greens and the orange of course so I would like to own this I don't know if I would buy it next up we can take a Swedish brand and this is a collab between a Swedish beauty blogger and a Swedish brand as I said it is between Gloss Gods and Ida I think it's Killerman or Schillerman Killerman uh, her Instagram and blog is named Spindelsven I've been following Ida for two or three years maybe more I don't know she did a palette in collaboration with the Swedish brand Gloss Gods I really like the palette. I really, really wanted it to buy it on release date, but I was at work and it was released around 10 p.m. a.m. 10 a.m. And I couldn't, like, I didn't have a minute over to buy the palette, order it, so I was like, okay, I'm doing it my lunch break. My lunch break came, the palette was out of stock, and I was like, fudge. They, this is going to come back one more time in the end of August. Maybe when this is live it has already come. Hopefully I will buy it then. I'm going to buy it because I really want to support Ida and I think this palette looks really good. I only have one little, little, little small complaint with this palette. I like that it is black. But I think that the colors doesn't come to like show the most of the colors with a black background i think this would have looked more colorful if it was a brighter background but i really like the black background uh, and the palette is called touch me i don't think i said it i'm going to buy this palette when the restock is coming i'm waiting for it and now we have three things left and i am 100% sure that I'm going to buy two of these three things. So we can buy start with the things that I don't know if I'm going to buy. These I have wanted for so long. It's three, 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 three. What's up with me? It's three single eyeshadows from Shroud. It's the Moonfall Trio. It looks like this. It looks amazing. I think these came as same time as the Arcana palette. I really love how these look. I really love Arcana. Arca yeah, I really love Shroud and I think they do really good shadows. The only reason why I haven't bought this is because of the shipping is so high from Shroud. It is nothing uncommon. It's just like that. If I'm going to buy these, I think they are $18. It's going to cost more with the shipping and the customs than the actual shadows for me. So that's why I haven't bought them. I think I might do it, I'm not sure, but sometimes with indie brands, it is like I spend more money to get the things here than the actual product. I do it pretty often though, <laughs> that I buy things and the shipping and the customs is more than the actual product because I want to support indie brands. But somewhere even I draw the line. And I draw the line with three, three, three single fade. Three shing, hmm? single shades. But I really, really like them. Maybe when they release the next palette, whenever that is going to happen, maybe I throw in these, I don't know. But I really, really, really want these. But I can't like justify to buy them. So the last two things that I know 100% that I'm going to buy. 
One is the new palette from Ace Potato, the Nostalgia palette. The pictures first, I was like, okay, I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy it. And it says it's a new formula. I really like both the Flare and the Oceanic palette. I know that a lot of people have some troubles with these two palettes. I don't get what the problem is. Um, but then I saw Betty Jean's video on this Nostalgia palette. She did an amazing look. And she said that she really liked the formula. And it feels like me and Betty Jean feels the same about the other palette from Ace Bute. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. I was actually waiting for her to do a video with it. To see if I wanted it or not. And I do want it. And I'm going to buy it. The only problem is, it's going to take a couple of months before it comes to Beauty Bay. I hate when, like, there is a European site that has these in the brands that is so expensive for me to buy from. And it's like, we are going to wait a couple of months. And I'm like, but I want to buy it now. It's a struggle to live in Europe sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to buy it and uh, I think it looks really good and I want it. So the last thing is a palette that is from Nomad Cosmetics. It is the Oriental Express and if you haven't seen my first impression with the Tokyo Harajuku palette from Nomad, I fell in love with that palette like that. So I really want this palette because their formula is amazing. It's so creamy. It's so easy to work with. I just love it. And I'm going to buy this Oriental Express palette maybe next month. I don't know. I talked actually a little bit with one of the owners from Nomad when I put up my Instagram post and also my video with the Tokyo Haruko. And they are so, so kind. And I... Um, I was really happy that they like noticed me because I am a small, I'm not even an influencer, I'm a small YouTuber and Instagram -er. Instagrammer. So I think it's so cool and <laughs> it feels so special in some way when a brand contact me when they see like I put up an Instagram post or a video about it and they seem real sweet owners of Nomad and it's not because of that <laughs> that I want this palette it's because the Tokyo Haruko palette I think I never worked with such creamy and easy blendable mattes before and I have played with a lot of eyeshadows so I'm going to buy this palette sometime this year I can put it like that. Sometime this year I am going to buy the Oriental Express palette. And yeah, that was my little wish list video. I hope that you have liked it. If you want me to continue doing these, I can do it maybe once a month or something like that. I usually save things that I really like on Instagram and uh, I can go through with there and see what it is. And I don't think a wish list only should be with newer things. Like the Nubian 2 palette from US Place. It's a really, really old palette. But I can't get it out of my mind. It's like good stuck there and I want it so bad. But yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!